So in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 top tips to help you become a data analyst in 2024. And if you watch to the very end, guys, I have a competition which I will be announcing. It's a great chance for you guys to get the opportunity to meet with me on a virtual call where we can discuss more around your career and aspirations and how you can become a data analyst. So tip number one is to master Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is the most popular and widely used tool in the data industry today. Now, believe it or not, all the big companies to this day still use Microsoft Excel, although we've had so many new tools that many companies are now using. But Microsoft Excel remains the bread and butter, the foundation block, if you like, for most data analytics teams and most data analysts around the world. So your basic objective is to learn and master VLOOKUPs, pivot tables, pivot charts, if formulas, and basic reports. If you can master those, then you'll have done really well to learn Microsoft Excel. For a stretch objective, if you really wanna push yourself, then you want to learn count if formulas, sum if formulas, and the new kid on the block called Microsoft Power Query. So Power Query is a relatively new add-on to Microsoft Excel. It allows you to clean up data and transform data much more faster, and much more seamlessly than ever before. It's highly recommended if you wanna master Master Microsoft Excel. Tip number two, guys, is what helped me, and that is to learn a visualization tool. So you've got two main options, Tableau or Power BI. Both are highly capable tools. I talk about it in a video down below in the description, but you can pick either or, and whichever you choose, just learn some of the basics. Learn how to use a user interface, learn how to clean up and prepare data, learn how to visualize data and use different charts, learn how to create filters, and then finally learn how to publish your dashboard for other people to view and use. At a basic level, you need to learn that. For a stretch objective, if you really wanna push yourself, then get certified. Both Tableau and Microsoft Power BI have certifications, which are relatively easy to do and inexpensive. If you get certified, put that on your LinkedIn profile, put that on your CV, it will help you stand out. Tip number three, guys, is to learn basic math and basic logic. So you wanna learn things like averages, you wanna learn things like percentages, and that in a nutshell is all you need. Being a data analyst doesn't require a lot of math. For a stretch objective, you wanna learn things like weighted averages, you wanna learn things like standard deviation, or you wanna learn things like quartiles. These are more advanced mathematical concepts but they're not really an essential requirement. If you do learn them, it'll really help you, especially when you go on to progress to become, say, a machine learning engineer or a data scientist. But fundamentally, maths is not a high level requirement for any data analyst. You just need to have a good mindset and a good approach to handling data in general. Tip number four, guys, is to learn SQL. Now, SQL or SQL is the language of databases. Now, whenever you're retrieving data from a database, you're guaranteed you will be needing to know and use SQL. So at a basic level, learn some basic SQL commands, learn how to do if, where, from, order by, sort by, learn how to use limits, learn all these functions. There are so many places to learn SQL. I will be doing a video on SQL, so do check out my channel and subscribe. But at a basic level, that's what you need to know. As a stretch objective, if you really wanna go the distance, then you want to learn how to create records in databases, or even better, learn how to create your own database. You could use something like SQLite, you could use something like MySQL, and really get familiar with how databases work. And in doing so, guys, you'll open up a new door and that is the chance to become a data engineer in future. Data engineers are heavily involved in using SQL and pushing data from one store to another store. But at a basic requirement, learn some good basic functions in SQL. Tip number five, guys, is to learn Python code. Python is now the hottest and most popular language in the data world. It's used in all sorts of machine learning algorithms, machine learning applications, and even AI. But if you wanna become a data analyst, you don't really need to know all that. You only need to know a few simple things. So at a basic level, you need to learn different data types in Python. So things like strings, integers, lists, dictionaries, tuples. Once you know that, then you wanna move on to learning how you can clean up data, how you can import data, learn a library called Pandas, which is really popular in Python. And then within Python, learn how to do a join, which is similar to a VLOOKUP, or learn how to do a pivot table or group by. So there are some basic things you need to learn in Python if you want to be good. Python is not a difficult language to learn. As a stretch objective, what you wanna learn is how to query APIs and how to 
pull data from an API. And if you want to go the distance, you also want to learn how to visualize data in Python. You've got so many libraries out there now, but one of the best ones you can use is Plotly. Tip number six is to find data influences and to follow them and contribute to any articles written by other influencers. Now, LinkedIn is full of data professionals, including me, and so many people are now posting content on LinkedIn, which you can learn from. Now, find some of the best guys. I have posted recently a video all about different influencers on LinkedIn. Do check out the link below. But in doing so, you will learn from some of the best in the game. And at a basic level, you want to read and follow through some of their content regularly. Medium is also another great platform where you can learn from data professionals. As a stretch objective, if you really want to go the distance, you can contribute and start commenting on people's posts and different blogs. And in doing so, you will cement your own learning and be able to understand things and concepts and ideas much better. And of course, if you're not already doing so, then follow me on LinkedIn as well. Tip number seven is to create a portfolio. So it's becoming more and more common for people to create portfolios to show off your skills and what you your knowledge. And the best way to do that is to find data, any public data source, or it could be your own data, and then produce dashboards or reports or analysis. You could do it in Power BI, you could do it in Tableau, you could even do it in Excel if you like or Python. But whatever you do, show it off and make sure it's on your LinkedIn profile. Submit it online somewhere where people can view and access it. And make sure you put a link in your CV. And if your CV is in a PDF format, the link can be a hyperlink, which recruiters can also access. If you want to push yourself and go the stretch distance, then make sure you check out Kaggle.com. Kaggle is a popular website which contains loads of data competitions and data sources from all around the world. And you can take part in those competitions and submit your own portfolio. You can also host your own portfolio on a popular platform like Git. Tip number eight, and I think one of the most important ones is to learn cloud computing. So in the last few years, we've seen the rise of cloud computing. We've seen more and more companies move to the cloud, not just big ones, but many small ones, especially startups that go on cloud first. So at a basic level, you want to learn things like AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform, or Microsoft Azure. Those are the three biggest cloud providers. By learning one of those three, you'll be doing really well. At a basic level, if you choose to learn AWS, for instance, you wanna learn things like what S3 storage is. You wanna learn what Redshift database is. You wanna learn what Elastic is. You wanna learn some basic fundamentals around some of the AWS products that exist today. If you wanna go the stretch distance, then what you wanna do is create your own cloud instance. Push data into the cloud, hold it and store it. Many platforms like AWS give you a three storage trial so you can push data into their platform. And then off of the back of that, you can build a pipeline, which then allows you to visualize the data in say Power BI or Tableau. Or you could run SQL script to retrieve data as well. Tip number nine is to learn how to use AI. So there are many AI models out there now. The most popular one, of course, being ChatGPT. But there are others out there now too, including Bard. So what I want you to do, guys, at a basic level is to learn how to use AI to improve code. You may want to use AI to create SQL code or Python code and then optimize your code so you can then use AI to help you develop faster. You want to learn how to use effective prompts and using effective prompts will get you the right answers faster and more efficiently. As a stretch objective, you may want to create your own GPT. So ChatGPT Plus or Premium Now features the ability to create your own GPT for your own individual use case. So do check that out if you're interested in learning more about AI. And my channel guys is dedicated to AI and ML. So you'll see a lot more content coming on this channel. So do follow me for more on the world of AI and AI development. And last but not least guys, is number 10 and that is to master interview technique. Even if you learned all the previous nine skills and you mastered them, if you don't have good interview technique, you will fall at the very first hurdle when it comes to getting a job. So what you wanna do as a basic level is to learn the STAR technique. The STAR technique or the STAR method is short for situation, task, action, and result. So what was the situation? What was the task? What action did you undertake and what was the final result? And if you can do that, guys, you'll be doing yourself justice in interviews. Interviews 
are not designed to be difficult. Many are nowadays, especially those that come with a technical test, but you can get better. You can actually improve your ability to do interviews really well. And the more practice, the better you'll get at them as well. So make sure guys, you spend some time improving your interview technique. Learn how to ask questions, learn how to listen, learn for the right cues and learn how to carry a conversation with your interviewer. So naturally it feels like a good discussion and not an interrogation. Now I've done many videos on different interviews I've done over the years, especially at different banks that I've worked for. So do check out my channel, do check out the description below. You'll find a series of different interviews I've done at different banks. So I hope this video has been useful for you. If you have any comments, suggestions, do drop them in the comment section below. But before you go, I've got one last thing to offer you. And that is a competition which I'm launching as of this video, as of today. Anyone who likes, subscribes and comments the year 2024, so you need to comment 2024, you will be in with a chance to hold a 15 minute virtual call with me. It could be a Zoom call, it could be a WhatsApp call with me in person. I will choose 12 lucky winners over the course of the year. So every month I'll pick someone randomly and it's an ideal chance for you guys to ask me questions about anything you like, about anything to do with careers, about anything to do with salary, about anything to do with getting into banking or getting into consulting. So guys, that wraps up the video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now.